everybody. It's me, Miss Chastity, coming to you live again this morning. I'm outside listening to the birds chirping, looking at all the beautiful flowers and trees that are in full bloom. It's a little cloudy today, maybe a little bit cool too, but it's still a beautiful day to be outside. So if you get a chance, step outside, walk, walk to uh, the end of your drive, listen to the birds chirp, um, look at birds, see if you can try to figure out what types of birds they are. Anyway, I have um, a story for you today again and it's another one of my favorite stories it's uh where the where the wild things are so it's written and illustrated by maurice sendak when you say it's the author or the writer of the book that means that they wrote the words of, in the story and the illustrator drew the pictures so here is Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Hmm, mischief? What kind of mischief is he getting into? And another. Look at that. He's aggravating the dog. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Oh, Max. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Look at that. Look at those trees. And grew. Look at that forest, it's getting bigger. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Look, there's Max in his little wolf suit in the jungle. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day. There's Max in his very own private boat sailing. And he sailed in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. There's a wild thing, there's Max. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terror, and they rolled their terrible eyes, and they showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, Be still! And he tamed them with a magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of the wild things. There he is wearing his crown. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. The wild rumpus was started. Don't, <laughs> 
Now stop, Max said. And he sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars, Arr! gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and he waved goodbye sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day there he is sailing back and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper there waiting for him there he is back in his room there's a supper And it was still hot. The end. Thanks for joining. I hope you liked where the wild things are. So remember, get outside, get some fresh air. Stay safe. Thanks, for, thanks again for joining. God bless. Bye.